Alright, hello, fun, and welcome back to Starfield, where today we are back here in our lovely ship yet again over at our outpost after trying to fix the Vasco issue this time. I don't know what's been going on with getting crew properly on our ship, but on the plus side, uh, Vasco's no longer standing at the front of the cockpit in my field of view while I'm piloting. Now he has decided to stand over here. <laughs> I actually have traveled a bit since I got him back into here, and uh, he just he just stands there now. Which, hey, it's an improvement from the front of the vessel. But still, I don't I don't get what get what's happening to him. Didn't he used to when we had like the Frontier and the uh, the Star Eagle and all that? Didn't he just stay down in like the landing bay? I don't know, but now he's here. Now he's here, just just standing there menacingly. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? Now, as for the plan for this episode, we are going to be doing one of those hits for Ve Victus with the preventative action mission here, and we need to head over to Ursa Minor 3, which thankfully, I was gonna get us closer uh, to wherever we needed to be, but then I noticed on the map that, um, yeah, our outpost is actually not that bad as of a staging area. We are just too basic jumps away. I mean, it'll be one for us, but for the actual navigation system, yeah, just two simple little jumps. So let us head on over to Ursa Minoris, and then to Ursa Minor 3, and away we go. And then kill a dude. <laughs> and then we'll figure out what to do after that. Oh, is he actually on the planet? Oh, interesting. I figured it'd be another ship one, like the uh, other one we did for Vevictus. Which, let's hold on a moment just in case we get one of the fun random encounters. Waiting. Waiting. And nothing. Okay. <laughs> Man, why have we not been getting random encounters? Also, hmm, hazy planet. <laughs> All right. I mean, let's see. It's a frozen world. 1.5 Gs. Ugh, those are always the worst. Our boost pack doesn't do much. Atmosphere, extra M, I have no idea what that means. Magnetosphere, unknown. Unknown? Average. <laughs> Fauna and flora, zero. Wa oh, it has water on there, and two traits. Two traits. Oh, well, we're apparently heading to a deserted ecliptic garrison. I think we've fought at one of those before. Oh, and yay, it's an extreme environment. Wonderful. Oh, frozen. Oh, we are gonna... We're going to lose a toe. <laughs> We're going to get frostbite again, aren't we? The worst of things. Oh. Oh. Now I'm having flashbacks to the Terramorph mission and whatever that one planet was called that I'm forgetting now where the Terramorphs are from. But oh well, down to the ecliptic base. Well, deserted one. Oh, and how dare this loading screen taunt me. We're going to a frozen hellscape and it gives us a desert. <laughs> how dare you? How dare you, game? Oh, it's just towing with us now. I think I think the game may be a little bit sentient after crashing after talking about bugs last time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow, we're not really trying to do this stealthily, are we? Just landing right in front of the base, huh? I mean, that's how it usually goes, let's be honest. But, okay. And I already see ecliptic. If only I could open fire with our weapons. <laughs> That would be hilarious. Oh my god, it'd be so cool if we had like a turret on the top of this thing and we'd just be like, bam, 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 bam. But no, sadly. Who do I have following me now? I think I've made Hadrian follow me again. All right, let's roll. Exit the ship. Shouldn't be breathing See what's going to happen. Let's get our suits on. I mean, suit is on. Hey, and Vasco, are you going to protect the ship like you used to? That looks like a no. That looks like a no. What happened to poor Vasco? Oh, man, poor Vasco. He used to be so wonderful. Nowadays, though. All right. Slightly higher level, level 28 we saw on that guy over there. Let's actually get you out. Sneak. On a character that has literally no points in sneaking. Oh, our target's right the balls there. Hi, information broker. And they're level... Oh, wait. Oh, no, that was them. We're done. <laughs> They'd at least be in the base. They were a level one. It took one shot to murder them. Oh my god, that was hilarious. 
Oh, and we don't even have to return to Vevictus. We just, it went back to the uh, pilot exam. The broken, broken piloting exam. Oh, boy. Wow. I mean, I knew it was going to be quick, and then we'd have to go do something else today. But I didn't think it would be that quick. <laughs> it was right there. And level one. Oh, magnificent. Okay, well, let's kill the rest of these ecliptic fools and loot the hell out of this place. Because that sounds like a wonderful plan. Wow, my gunshot sound was really uh, glitched there for a second. Oh, God, hi, Robot. Okay, yeah, we need to switch over to you, because the acid on this thing does pretty good against robots. There we go. Eat corrosive damage. And I am also taking a lot of shots. You know what? Since I always forget to take them, let's actually use some booze or something to give me some, uh, some extra damage resistance. You know, we've got better than the Dark Lager, but still, it's the generic stuff. Let's get rid of it. There we go. And away we go. We're back to our more close range pistols, so might as well run in. And murder that one. Oh, hi! How are you, contractor? All right, you're dead. Got a couple of more up that way. I'll take you you and you. Ooh, did you pick? Always nice. All right, my guess is the rest of the ecliptic people are inside. Never mind. I literally just heard one near here. That's Hadrian. I about shot you in the face. <laughs> thankfully, I did pause. Oh, thankfully, I did pause. Hey, where was the dude we killed? Why? I, mm, you know, I've always thought it was kind of annoying that we couldn't loot bodies like we could in Skyrim or, uh, or in, you know, uh, Fallout. Jesus, I'm forgetting names of games time. that I play. <laughs> but I'm more mad at this right now than ever because he has one of the suits that I love. I want to take it off of him. Good work, Adrian. <laughs> Killing whoever was over there while I was complaining. Okay. Oh, did I also see a digi pick? I did! And a cred stick? Where's the guy you just killed? I have no idea. That wasn't him, was it? No, we already looted them. You know, Hadrian, at least kill them where I know to loot them. <laughs> oh, hey, Robot! Who somehow didn't know of our existence! And is now dead. Alright, let's we'll check out that building over there in a sec. Getting shot from, I assume, up there. Yes, up there. Hello, ecliptic agent. This is not the gun I meant to grab. I meant to pull out our one with a scope, but I've already grabbed it, so might as well use it. There we go. They're dead. Lovely. All right, let's check out this building. Go back to. You know what? Let's actually go back to the Kraken. Yeah. I just have so much ammo for it. I might as well use it. <laughs> oh, hi! Die, ecliptic agent! Well, Hadrian's fighting someone out there. Ooh, sushi. Oh, God, she's in a hell of a fight. Eh, yeah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. What do we got there? Settler workwear? Nah. Ooh, marshmallow treat cereal. <laughs> Take a ramen multi-pack. Oh, yeah. Chunks egg. Sure, why not? Have a Chardonnay with our chunk eggs. You doing okay out there, Hadrian? You sound fine. You'll be okay. She's competent. And plus, she's an NPC in the... Oh, God, hi. We got someone in here. Hello? D did we? Didn't I just get shot? Oh, hi! <laughs> why weren't you shooting me? the hell? <laughs> Ooh, refined Kodoma. I'll take you. Uh, you're Hadrian. You're Hadrian. Okay. She looks escape. so similar in that navigator suit. I think that's what it's called, right? Uh, to an ecliptic person that I, I keep almost shooting her. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go this way. It looks like we looted everything in here. I think, yeah, this goes into a tunnel that then pops out over yonder. Got some toxic gas. 
Oh god, I forgot about the heavy gravity here. Oh boy. Alright, well. What's over here? I have no idea. I mean, I assume more ecliptic. Which? There we go. Hello? Bad people? Where are you guys at? I think I hear a ro Oh, I do hear a robot moving around. <laughs> Ooh, that was not as good as that shooting that last robot we killed. Alright, and we got some ecliptic fools. And, ooh, that was a good one. Looks like the gun is maybe a crit point on him. Oh, yeah, that worked much nicer. I was shooting the main body. I should have been shooting his gun. Hello! No, oh, he tried to fly. The fool. <laughs> There's a couple others around here, though, now. Oh, they're up there. And boom! <laughs> it's zero ammo. Zero ammo. I always say when that happens, you got the shot lined up and then nothing. God, I mean, it's our best gun for long range. I have the dot on his head and we... The spread, the spread is not great. Oh, a lot more people appeared. Cool, 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 cool. Someone's shooting me over that way. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Let's go back to this... Oh, God, Hi! <laughs> I thought, I thought that was Hadrian for a split second. <laughs> Again, Hadrian, I need you to change your suit. It's kind of causing me troubles here. It's kind of causing me troubles. Oh, jeez. All right, run in. Anyone in here? No. Dude upstairs, though. No one there. We got stairs. Hello! Oh, two of you! about dead. Oh, and God, hi, more over there. Uh, no, there we are. And alley -oop. I'll take you and you. Oh, we find one there. Calibrated flashy leatherware. Have we seen that? We have. We have. Okay, I've seen that multiple times and I never remember the name of it. All right. Well, might as well go back to here. Die, Merc! Alright, who else we got in here? Another agent. And... Oh, you know, he's not dead yet. Didn't mean to explode that, but it happened. And it was wonderful. Oh, I tried to fly up with my, my pack only to remember... Oh yeah, 1.5 gravity. Ooh, you are a tougher one, 52? Well, thankfully, headshots with a Kraken still work on you. <laughs> oh, though I am hurt. I am hurt. No, oh, he's not standing near anything fun to explode. I kind of am, though, which is bad. I'm gonna go back downstairs. You're done. And... a boom Reload... Where is he at up there? Have fun with that. Enjoy. I don't think that did anything to him. There you are. Oh, God. Yeah, he's a little tougher. He's a little bit more of a pain in the butt. You know, I probably should switch over to one of my several guns that have much more damage, but... We haven't used this gun in so long that I've been enjoying using it again recently. Plus, we just have so much ammo. He's almost dead. Uh, just for fun. No, oh, he ran. How dare you? How dare you not accept my gift? <laughs> He's dead now. Where'd his body go? What? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say. I was like, my God, what happened? What the balls are you? I don't think we've seen that before. Looks, yeah, it's a grenade launcher. A multi-ammo uh, grenade launcher. Unlike the current one that we have access to. That's just, uh, I forget the name of it. The break action one. Why were you shooting me with your Kodomo when you had this? I mean, I'm deaf. 
I don't think I have you. That's new to me. Cargo wear? I mean, my current uh, Space Rogue also gives me plus five carry capacity, and I like it more. But that's... I'm going to take you, too. Put you in storage. Yeah, you're you're cool. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't think we've seen one of those. Nifty. You know, it kind of makes me want to uh, play the game as a heavy weapons char a character. We've seen so many cool heavy weapons in the game that it would be fun. But oh well. We're pistol character. I made my choice. I made my choice of space cowboy or space rogue kind of a character at the beginning, and I'm rolling with it. And pistols are not something I usually use in games, so I wanted to, you know, do something different. <laughs> Granted, we don't also normally do explosives because I usually blow myself up, but, um, which probably would happen, let's be honest, if I did try and play a character like that. Oh my god, also look at my health. Let's use an emergency kit. <laughs> I didn't realize I'm so so low oh wonderful good times good times we're alive though we're good uh was there any other food that i missed from earlier no we look good all right let's top up with a med pack where's me med packs there we go there we are i just want to play with this real quick though 10 rounds huh Ooh, I'm pretty sure there were still some people alive here who need to die. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think we killed everyone over that way. So, we're, we're going to blow them up. <laughs> Ooh, eggs. Sure, why not? We'll take the beer. Yeah. Uh, it's looking like anything else of value up in here. Ooh, never mind. Hello. Great. I mean, I'll sell it, but that Osmium Dagger isn't really going to go for too much, is it? I'll take all that. Any other containers, perhaps? A lot of junk. A lot of junk. Alright, yeah, it looks like mostly junk. Okay, well, let's go back to the direction of people that need to die. <laughs> and, you know, kill them with this gun that I've I definitely have never seen before and want to want to destroy someone with I think there was at least one person left alive over this way not that we killed them over there at that shit oh, hello perfect opportunity beautiful <laughs> wait hold on did it like hold on Okay, never mind. I thought it was some sort of cluster munition for a moment, because I could have sworn I heard secondary explosions, but I think it might have just been the game sound being wonky, because it has been today. What are all the stats on this thing? Does more damage the less armor one has, so if you're running around just in normal clothes, <laughs> this thing would be incredibly powerful. Neat. Anyone else that needs to be exploderized? I was about to just jump straight down there thinking, oh yeah, we have a pack. 1.5 planet. Down we go. I think that might have been the last dude to kill, though. So yeah, we did that building. I'm pretty sure we killed everyone in there. Never mind, we got someone up there. Fire away. Is there not an arc on this thing? Oh my god, does it just shoot straight? Oh my god, it does. It's like a little missile launcher. I thought it was grenades, like with an arc. Beautiful. It's even more cool now. I was trying to arc the things thinking that's what we needed to do. No, it's a little missile launcher. That's amazing. Where are they? They gotta die. Hold on. Oh, I didn't mean to grab you. I have several of you. Where'd you go? You went down there, didn't you? And you're dead. Anything else with the ship? So it looks like a ship we can't actually get into. It's just a set piece for stuff. Well, check around the other side. Do I actually have the Frankenstein books? I don't know if I do or not. Well, now I do. We can't get under there. Can I get around here? Ooh. No, that goes too far. The oh, oh god, am I stuck? No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, an air. I didn't check inside the other side of the cargo bay. I'm pretty sure that's all the ecliptic now. 
And yeah, this thing's pretty freaking sweet. I thought it would be arcing like a normal grenade launcher, but no, this is, this is freaking missiles. <laughs> Are you a fancy one or just normal? Ooh, I mean, I don't have... I don't care about the these deep mining packs, but I don't have a legendary one, I don't think. So I'm gonna take it. Nifty. All right. Well, I need to loot that body over here. <laughs> there he is. O2 filter deep core pack. What does that do? I mean, yeah, 25% less oxygen consumption. That makes sense. I'm going to take it. That one's for sale, though. That one's for sale. <laughs> oh, nifty. I really like this. I really like this gun. Too bad it's not a pistol. <laughs> All right, well, we're 21 minutes in. Do we have another thing we could do like super quick just to get it out of the way? What's loose ends? Oh, that, no. <laughs> Let's deliver the stuff, which I abandoned long ago. I was hoping I could deliver the goods in whatever order I wanted, but no, it's a quest in order. Uh, that would be a longer thing. God, maybe we actually just do go back and talk to Sam just to get that out of our activities list. Oh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't care for Sam in the slightest. Everything else here is pretty much an item that's gonna lead us to something bigger. We don't really have it. Just another quick, short, sweet, and to the point thing. I mean, unless we go to a random temple real quick. But no, what was, no, that was that. I'll never be able to beat one of those, I don't assume. <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll go back and talk to Sam, get some story out of the way. And since we'll be heading back to New Atlantis, we can sell crap. Yeah. All right, well, to the lodge. And away we go, over here. And down to here. Alpha Centauri, then Jemison, then the Lodge. I'll sell crap off camera. This is probably going to take multiple vendors. Oh, I wish the vendors had more coin. Uh, at least, you know, the um, Trade Authority lady down in the well, she's usually got quite a bit of cash on her. I wish every vendor had that much as, as much as her. You know, you sell one good, decent gun and you go th burn through most vendors' cash. <laughs> like that grenade launcher slash missile, missile launcher thing. I wouldn't be surprised if that is too much to sell to most vendors, honestly. I have something for you, Captain. Oh, do you? I wonder what you'll give me. Also, why did it sound like a radio when you this don't have a helmet on? This is you, Captain. I found it on our travels. Okay, cool. What do you got? I appreciate. Yes, I appreciate the effort. Take good care of it. That kind of thing can be useful. Oh, what is it? It's been nice to dust off my old field collecting skills. Uh-huh. I haven't done this kind of thing in a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, I wonder what her companion mission is going to be. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes out of it, though. So am I. I've forgotten how much I liked working in the field. Well, glad to have you along, Adrian. I'd be happy to share some of the samples I collect. Check back any time. I might have something for you. Sweet. Well, what am I getting, then? Useless crap. <laughs> a bone that's toxic. Thank you, Hadrian. It's the most wonderful of gifts. <laughs> All right, before we talk to Sam, I actually do want to go up to my room to check my storage. God, it's bright in there. What the hell? <laughs> because I think that I'm, I'm, I'm curious if I have seen this gun before. The rocket launcher thing. It doesn't look familiar, but... Oh, God. Why do I still have some of these? Uh, Yeah, why do I still have you? I should sell you. <laughs> I understand some of these I kept because I like them, and since attachments aren't like in Fallout where you can take them apart, I kind of like keep some of the more unique ones that I really like. Uh, but, yeah, old advanced shotgun. But, yeah, most of the things I keep are the legendaries. No, you. That's, I think, one of only two Riveters I've ever seen. That's why I kept that one. 
your uniquely named fiscal quarter. Frenzy Coachman, Refined Equinox. I could probably sell you. Yeah, hold on to it for now, though. I can sell you now. I found better. I've kept you because you're unique named. I think I kept this one because it was the first XM2311 that I found. Eh, it's time for you to leave. <laughs> Interestingly named one. Just cool. Uh, interestingly named one. Legendaries. Yeah, no, I, I don't have I don't have one of the rocket launchers in here. Okay, yeah, you could be sold. I don't know why I kept you. I think I think again this is one of the first ones I found of it. Yeah, you could be sold. But I'm gonna put that new gun in there. What was it called? <laughs> Was it not? I thought it was... I thought it was at least a blue. Am I insane? Did I miss it? Negotiator. Ah, there it is. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I have never seen one of these before. That's kind of cool. So, I'll keep it around because I haven't seen it. Uh, the rest, though, will get sold. And there was also the... Clothes. Oh, wait. No, the legendary pack. I always like keeping my legendaries. And, yeah, the space... That's honestly not that bad of an outfit. I do kind of like it, but I like Space Rogue more. And same, same stuff. Heavier, though. Less protection on energy. Uh, you know, I never really paid too much attention to the stuff with the outfits. But Nifty, we'll store you. It's actually a pretty neat outfit. I like it. If I was going with, like, a... A, well, a truck, space trucker character. That would be a perfect one. Get one of those, and I think I've actually probably got a number of hats. Hold on, let's actually check with, in the storage. I got 41 in here. Holy crap. <laughs> Maybe I keep too many things. Yeah, we got baseball caps, the Gravaplos helmet. It's weird. Uh, yeah, well, any, any other hats we got? I wish there was separate categories. That would make life so much easier. Oh, that was a Deimos cap. The deputy hat. That's not bad. First officer hat. Oh, yeah, the same one we're wearing, but not as cool of a color. Plus, the color of the special one we're wearing matches our rogue outfit. Though, that officer's outfit's not that bad, though. Soldier stuff, that was pretty cool. Frontier outfit, not that bad. Hard hat, cool. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot about those. Oh, yeah, that weird, that weird crap. Yep, even weirder. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> Do I not have any other cool hats? I mean, mostly... Oh, yeah, there was our adventurer hat. Yeah, that is a really cool outfit. I really do like that outfit. It's not bad. Yeah, just the... Wrap. God, I don't have as many hats as I thought I did. Oh, the Trident and Luxury Lines cap. Ooh, I found that actually fairly recently. Off cam. When looting the place. Oh, I forgot about you. <laughs> I got a lot of crap. <laughs> I hate the headphone cap. Actually, that would go really good with the cargo thing. I also always do like this outfit. It's it's pretty freaking sweet. Since I'm married to Andrija, I wonder if I should wear it. She'd probably appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, this, this headphone cap would go real well with the, uh, with that. Huh. Neat. <laughs> Just sidetracked from some, uh, you know, looking at all my clothes and, and whatnot. All right, let's talk to Sam Co. Though we're actually already at about the half hour mark, but still, yeah, let's have that conversation. Things. Yo. Not bad. Not bad. Alco, how's so it going? So we know the answer. Who are the Starborn? Mm -hmm. Where we are. Or some cracked mirror version of ourselves. I wouldn't say cracked. It's all seems unreal. Well, yeah. Battle of Dimensions, all that. Really, really fun stuff. You theorize there were people outside the settled system. Score one for you, I guess. I mean, technically, is not wrong. Yeah. Uh, who's keeping track? You know, yeah, plus one for Team Sam. I was hoping the Starborn were somehow so advanced that their concerns were cosmic, significant. Nope. Instead, they're fighting over goddamn toys like we've been doing since caveman times. Oh, yeah. It's just a stupid game to them. Yeah. And all their deaths and suffering 
Not relevant. Yeah, they are real dicks. Uh, their motivations do appear to be, well, human. Well, because they are-ish. Kind of. Starborn, but, I mean... Uh, I think it may be more complicated than that. I agree. They're trying to jump between worlds and such. So, you know, a little bit more complicated than... The, uh, the unity is in a toy. It has profound implications. You know, I'm going to go with that one. If you say so. He just liked that. So the unity is a gateway. A gateway to countless possibilities. Mm-hmm. And you have a chance to go through it. Yeah. Imagine. I'd be lying if it doesn't sound like the adventure of a lifetime. I don't know if you're taking anyone with you. But if you take me... I won't. I got no idea if I'd go through or not. If it weren't for Cora, I'd jump on it in a heartbeat. Cora would probably shove both of us out of the way and dive in first. Yeah, she probably would. Born explorer, that girl. Yeah, that's that's very true. She very much would. I mean, obviously, from everything we're hearing, we're going to be able to take someone, right? But how many can go through? I still don't get that. I, I mean, hopefully we'll get an answer to that at some point. But if I go, you go. Oh, God, like hell, I hate, I hate Sam. Uh, Cora's cool. Sam, no. Uh, I don't want to go to another universe. I mean, I'm t I don't really actually want to, but we're probably gonna just to see what happens. An opportunity like this is why Constellation was founded, pure exploration. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Exactly, right? I know it's your decision who to work with, but you gotta remember that the hunter murdered our friend. Oh yeah, I'm gonna murder him too. Sure, the emissary may be a version of Barrett, but he's not our Barrett. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that doesn't make what the hunter did right. Not by a long shot. If the Starborn are party crashers from different universes, I'd side with the one that's not willing to murder innocents to win. Well, I didn't side with either. I told them both to screw off. <laughs> yeah, I don't like either of them. I'm glad that's where my mouse was just by default. Me neither. My head is still spinning. Maybe after a few nights sleep, it'll be clear. Take care. Later, Sam. All right, well, that's out. You know, I wonder what Hadrian probably thinks about all this. We probably won't be able to talk to her for a while, considering we need to get our relationship up with her first. But, oh well, that is going to be where we're going to end today. As for what we do next time, I got no freaking clue. Maybe we finally go and do stuff at Neon. I got to figure out, I, I think I remember where we go to in the world to get rid of our, um, our bounty thing. Hold on, what's it called again? Uh, we can see it on our character thing here. Our wanted thing. We can pay for it somewhere. Because I want to do that before we go back to Neon properly. Just because, again, as I've explained multiple times, my headcanon story for my character. We, it, it's already failed because, of course, we've been to Neon multiple times for missions. But <laughs> we had to. I had no choice. But still, before we go back properly and do some things there... Uh, I, I, we should get rid of this. We should get rid of this. It'll be a little sad getting rid of it because it's, you know, been one of the more interesting random encounters, but headcanon story, man. It's gotta go. <laughs> but yes, that's gonna be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching as always. We'll have a good one.